Dear Woody, I'm 13 and I've been crying my heart out because my dad and my mom lost their jobs. My dad messed up his back somehow and he might not be able to get work again. He's thinking about moving back to Peru. I might have to move there and leave all my friends and we are already selling the house. I need some advice, please. So you're not the first person to write me about your parents' money problems. And, uh, you know, you don't really need a course of action from here. You know, all you really need to do is make sure that you have the right attitude. And, and, and that attitude is one of forgiveness. Uh, you, your parents are going through something tough right now. Your parents are going to, uh, you know, like your mother and, and to maybe even a larger extent, your father, depending on how your family works as a, as a dynamic, are, are going to have these feelings of insecurity about maybe letting their family down uh, for not being the provider that they aspire to be. And um, what you need to do is make sure that he knows that you love him. You need to make sure that your father knows that in your eyes, he's a good guy. That's all a father is really looking for, you know, from his kid in a, in a situation like this. So, so what's your job? It's not to earn money. Although, you know, you could be um, cognizant of the fact that your family's low on money right now and just ask for a little less. Like that would help your parents a lot. You know, don't ask for designer clothes. Don't ask for, you know, the latest toys or whatever. Try to be a cheap kid, you know, at least, uh, you know, during these hard times right now. So, so that's that. Um, and then, you know, the other half of it is to make sure that your parents know that uh, the fact that they lost their jobs, it, 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 better yet, make sure your parents know that you do not measure them by, you know, their income. And, uh, and, and that's what that is. Jackie? So I agree with Mr. Wee's gamer tag and, and being really supportive of your parents and letting them know that, you know, you haven't let them down or they, they haven't let you down. Um, and, and about missing your friends and stuff like that, with the computer age, you, you probably can still be in contact with them with Skype and, and all sorts of other things. Um, I know that uh, Woody's Gamertag here plays with lots of people all across the world. And, you know, it might not be the best situation moving back to Peru, but it, it might not be as horrible as you think it will be. I hope it helps. Hey, Woody, big fan. I'm 15 and I've been dating this girl for about three months. I really like her and we've kissed on the lips, but she's made it clear she wants to French it up a little if you get me. <laughs> I get you, baby. I get you. The only problem is I've never actually kissed a girl in that way before, so I need some advice on how to be a decent kisser. Many thanks. Well, you've you've come to the right place here. Would you agree that I am an awesome kisser? Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes. Can you get a higher endorsement than that? Um, of course not. You are amazing, honey. You're spectacular. <laughs> That's why I married you. All right. Well, I wasn't always such a great kisser. and uh, <gasps> You don't say. It's true. Anyway, um, I'm thinking about actual advice to give a 15-year-old guy who is Frenching for the first time. I uh, look forward to hearing this advice. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the first thing that popped into my head was you can kind of just mirror what she does. Um you know, like it, th there is a balance here. There are some obvious mistakes that, that you can make that you want to avoid. Uh, the first one that pops into my head that you really don't want to do is slobber all over her. That That's true. Yeah. Uh, so, breath mints. Oh, breath mints, dentine, something like that. They don't make dentine anymore like that. Get out. No, they don't. Yeah. That's, that's the kind you used to use, honey. Uh, dentine and chlorine is my patented smell. You can't take it. It's mine. Yes, it is. <laughs> but um, uh, anyway... Uh, so, so having fresh breath is a key thing. Uh, it's easy to carry some lifesavers in your pocket. I don't like Tic Tacs because they make so much noise. They draw attention to the fact that, <laughs> that you have, uh, you know, a breath mint in your pocket. But um, uh, either some sort of like Trident type gum mm -hmm. or a lifesaver or whatever. Altoids, uh, noise issues again. But whatever, they should do the trick. Um, Avoid onions. Avo yeah, you know, watch what you eat, stuff like yeah. that. So, so getting past the hygiene and toward the actual technique... You can't go too wrong if you mirror what she does. A tongue tango. Exactly. So, um, you know, what does that mean? Well, you know, like the depth of tongue penetration, she will guide you on that, right? You know, it, it, the You're tongue... You're very technical about this. Tongues are going to touch here, right? Now, if... Teeth you know, will clash. Teeth will touch. Teeth will bump. It, it's We used to joke it wasn't a full day. You don't have braces, right? Because that could be a real big problem. It's not a big problem, actually. It is so. Please, I've heard rumors. People with braces kiss. There's never any Brady Bunch like... Take out the retainer. Any of those kind of things. That'll ruin the mood. <laughs> anyway, um, so my basic advice is... Uh, to mirror what she does. Um, now, there are a lot of videos online, I'm told. Really? Mm -hmm. You've seen these? Uh, 
No. Oh, of course not. <laughs> but um, I, there are a lot of what videos kind of online videos? where people kiss and then some. You could watch soap operas. Soap operas? Yes. What I really want to tell you, though, is on these online videos, uh, sometimes these guys are, you know... Isn't that porn? They're not 15-year-old first-time like kisses. Uh, not porn. I. Yeah, porn. No, no, no. Do not watch porn to see how to kiss your 15-year-old girlfriend. That's actually bad my advice. advice. Yeah. That's bad that, no, advice. no, that's I'm saying the same no, thing as you. No, no, no. we agree, woman. Oh, okay, we agree. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, they, they, these guys are not doing like 15-year-old first-time French no, kiss type stuff not. here. Yeah. The, these guys are going all edit with, you know, people who've been there before. Um that's <laughs> that, that I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is is I wouldn't go to these guys who are, you know, guaranteed home runs. Look at that. The guy just got like a triple spray on us. Um, I wouldn't uh, I, I wouldn't go to some, you know, triple X rated site to find out how to kiss your 15 year old girlfriend Plus for the first time. Plus you'll probably get in trouble. Yeah, what you actually want to do is is take it a little bit slower than that. Take it a little bit easy. Uh, she'll be nervous just like you are. And, um, you know, and, and just enjoy yourself. And her idea of French kissing might not be what you think she wants so why don't you ask her or ask her to show you what could her idea of french kissing be like well, what other she possibi- might not want that same kind of like deep slobbery tongue down your throat french you know kissing she that- wants it no she probably doesn't <laughs> what do you think she's she never wants? done it before um probably something a little bit more tame mm-hmm. for, for the first few times yeah yes yeah, i actually agree with that oh thank you so so there it is uh I would not go to some porn site to figure out how to kiss. I, uh, um, I I would mirror her actions, and if you do that, then you won't go too far off. I agree. Subject, Morristown. Hey, Woody, my friends and I are from Morristown, New Jersey, and we heard that you used to live here and went to South Valley. Just wondering if this is true. So, yeah, it is true. I, um, I grew up in Morristown. I lived there until I was 12 years old, and then I moved to Ocean City, New Jersey. Um... Do you know where Beth Drive and Mindy Drive is? I used to live on 18 Mindy Drive, actually. That was my house yes. uh, growing up as a kid. And uh, there was a field. Like, Beth Drive and Mindy Drive make, like, a triangle. And mm-hmm. I forget the other street. It might be 2nd Street or something. There's I don't probably remember. not a field in it there anymore. I, the field was there for a long time. Maybe someone built on the field. Maybe, because I did him a favor. I burnt that thing to the ground. You told me that. Weren't you, like, I don't know, 20? No, I was, like, 10. And that was a four-alarm fire. Could, how did that go again? It was huge. There was a fire, and it was warm, and oh, I, I didn't point it. I know what a four-alarm fire we were, is. We were uh, throwing smoke bombs, playing war. Let's end this commentary. Okay. Uh, and now two videos that I have never seen before. This one looks about like about house building, and the other one looks like a striking package. I'm not really sure. Maybe it teaches you how to hit. I hope you enjoy. Bye. <laughs>